guys to get some national exposure tonight. Yellow flag. We have a yellow flag on the oh, racetrack. Look out, look out, look out. Nobody's. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh. They, they must not be paying any attention to the yellow flag. Well, it's very difficult to even see the numbers from over here as the. Uh, well, we have the yellow flag out. Apparently, we're not going to a red flag situation, but look at the damage to the front of that one black car on the left side of your screen. We cannot even see the number, make the number out. That white car had been sitting there for a good while, and a white car up along the fence, and... and uh... That is Tracy, uh, Larry, in the black car. That's the black four car. Greg Tracy on the inside that they're running to now. One, two, three, four, five cars involved. The red flag is now out. We do have a red flag condition on the racetrack and once again we talked earlier about looking over the front nose of the car as opposed to looking down the racetrack that may have been the situation well look at the debris up there i don't i don't know whether it's the situation i think it's just used not used to running on, o, on an oval where you have to watch the lights much more carefully you you just must watch the lights much more carefully on an oval than you do on a road there course. is your leader right there he comes around the racetrack. The crash is happening up there. This is the yellow and white car. They get tangled up. And oh. Tracy was just hit head on. That that was. Uh he we was can't even there. make out the number. We'll wait. We'll wait officially for all the names and numbers to be passed on to us. See the black car who spun first. The car back here in the back hits the fence, trying to miss him. Then another white car up into the fence. All these guys binding, grabbing on the binders. Guys down on the all inside. Right, now there's the but black car. He sat there for a good while. Cars are crashing. Guys are trying to miss him. But here comes the car that really does the damage. Oh, he went clear up over the top of him. Wow. All right, there is the shot from the Family Channel blimp, a devastating crash down in the uh, first turn here at Indianapolis Raceway Park. We have a red light situation. We'll come back and see exactly what information we can pass along to you. Tickets, please. We are back at Raceway Park after the track has been cleared following this devastating crash. There is Knox up on the high side with Berger, and there is Simmons, the leader, just clipped Tracy, and Tracy gets hit head on by Schrader in the 96 car. That's right, Gary. Tracy actually started this crash. He spun first. Knox and Berger hit, get together, hit the fence, trying to miss him. Several cars just barely go by. Simmons clips his front wheel here, is right there. No, that wasn't him. Another car spun, right, and then Simmons, Simmons right here, along. And, and then there uh, is Schrader. Schrader just hits him a ton. It almost got upside down. But there were several other cars that spun, but didn't make contact. Right there is Simmons going by, and there's the devastating hit. By, Ber uh, by Schroeder. Schroeder head on into Tracy. We've had six cars involved. Those running in first, second, and fourth were involved in the race. And here are those involved in the crash. Berger in the 44, Knox in the 8, Cost in the 36 car, Simmons was your leader, Schrader was second, and Tracy running, uh, I think, in fourth position. Let's go back down to the pit area, Dave. We have an update from the medical personnel. Dr. Jim Nossett is the medical director here at Indianapolis Raceway Park. Incredible as it seems after we look at that impact, both the drivers involved, Jared Schrader, who was running second in the race, and Greg Tracy, who is the defending champion in this race, both were conscious and talking to the medical personnel. They've been extricated from their cars, and they are at the medical facility here on grounds. They've not been transported to Methodist or any other hospital in the Indianapolis area. We hope to have an update as as soon as it is available after their medical examinations have been completed. Now, Chris Simmons was the leader of the race, and you saw his car go shooting through there. And Chris, first of all, from your viewpoint, it must have been a, a shooting gallery trying to find an opening through there. Tell me your experience. Yeah, it was a shooting gallery, all right. Uh, I came in and was trying to look through the lap traffic, uh, trying to get down low, keep moving through traffic. Uh, next thing I knew, everybody was spinning in front, and uh, I avoided the first couple and got into the oil and just couldn't avoid Greg Tracy in the middle of the track and hit him with the right front corner and tore it off and slid up into the wall. It would ap appear that, that both you and Schrader had opportunity to slow down. Did you see the yellow? Uh, we didn't. I didn't see the yellow. I, all I saw was the car spinning ahead, and I was trying to keep the car straight. There was just so much oil that we really couldn't slow down. As soon as I tried to slow down, the car tried to spin. So uh, basically, I was just trying to keep it straight. We're glad you're through it in one piece. His car too damaged to continue, but this race is going to continue. And for the call, let's go back to Gary and Larry. Because of the time it took to extricate the two drivers and all the debris up there that needed to be cleaned up, the race has been shortened from 50 laps to 40 laps. And, and look at this. This is Tracy's car, but notice the, the frame superstructure. It is all intact. 
It's incredible that that frame withstood the hit that he took. I just can't believe that it's all still there. And the part that the driver sits in, his compartment, still was intact. And uh, that probably kept him from having serious injuries. Before we get underway with the midget feature quickly, I hate interviewing doctors. I don't think Jim will take that personally. Dr. Jim Nossett is the medical director here at the Speedway. And given the crash that we both saw, you have a fairly optimistic report. What can you tell me? That's right. Both drivers are uh, less injured than, than what the crash would seem. Jarrett Schrader has injuries to both feet and ankles on both sides. He's en route to Methodist Hospital now for x-rays uh, for possible fractures. And uh, Greg Tracy has an injury to his face, which appears to be a minor bruise, as well as an injury to his foot. He's also en route for x-rays. And he, both drivers are awake and alert. Excellent news, and we're certainly happy. We appreciate your taking time out of a busy schedule to come and report that the guys involved in a horrendous-looking crash are going to be okay. 